We have been gathering information all day about the gunman. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge has that part of the story. Law enforcement identifies the suspect as 66-year-old James Hodgkinson of Illinois. A Facebook page bearing the same name includes photos of Bernie Sanders as well as anti-Trump rhetoric. One post reads, Trump is a traitor. Trump has destroyed our democracy. It's time to destroy Trump and company. I've given a statement uh, to the Alexandria Police Department. Republican Congressman Jeff Duncan says he believes the suspect approached him at the ball field. I did have an interaction with someone in the parking lot who asked me, if the team practicing was a Democrat or a Republican team, I told him they were Republicans. He said, okay, thanks, turned around. Uh, I got in the car and left. And uh, that was the conversation he had, and it was only as they were driving back. And they said back, he acted a little reports. weird Yeah, what he did. A spokesperson for the American Society of Home Inspectors confirms a James Hodgkinson was a member of the Trade Association, but dropped out in 2015. A few years earlier, a local Illinois newspaper reports that the suspect sent letters to the editor railing against Republicans and tax policies. In this August 2012 letter, Hodgkinson writes, I have never said life sucks, only the policies of the Republicans. This man says he's a friend of the suspect. Well, he never backed down from anybody. In a bar fight or whatever, he, he stood his ground. But it was the kind of kid stuff or was it was it political? No. The New York Times interviewed the suspect's brother who says the 66-year-old was upset over the election of President Trump and went to Washington within the last few weeks to protest. This account appears consistent with a local news report that a neighbor had not seen Hodgkinson in months, though his wife still lives at this home in Belleville, Illinois, where the FBI is on the scene. A law enforcement source tells Fox the Bureau gets involved when police officers and members of Congress are assaulted. At this morning's news conference... We had no prior information that would lead us to believe that anything like this was going to occur. Are you certain members of Congress were being targeted, though? Was this an intentional attack on members of Congress? Too early to tell if they were targeted or not. At a news conference within the last hour, the FBI confirming that the ATF is running a trace on two weapons to include a rifle and a handgun. Also saying that the FBI is very focused on emotive, and so far no indication why the suspect chose today, Chris. Catherine, thank you. You're welcome.